Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So you should know something about me and that is that I do not enjoy cleaning. I will cook and cook and cook all day long in my lovely kitchen, but I, I do not like cleaning. However, my friend Reese, who is Healthy Reese on Instagram, messaged me last week and said, do you have a video of all the cleaning products that you like? If you don't, you should totally do one from products to mops to vacuums. I said, I like this idea. I said, I'm not a model performer when it comes to house cleaning. And she said, no, but you are real. You clean in sweats and your house looks normal. Thumbs up. Okay, so I do not like to clean, but I do it because it's a necessity and because I wanna keep my house <laughs> looking nice. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all of the cleaning products that I use regularly to clean my house with. And if anything has links, I will post them down below. Of course, if you have questions, please let me know. Uh, but I thought this would be fun. And also, I'm gonna tell you what I don't like because I think letting you know what I don't like is just as important as telling you what I do like. So let's get started. So I have everything laid out on my island here and I'm gonna try and go through this as efficiently as possible so this video uh, doesn't get too super long. But I'm gonna start down here with kind of like the multi-purpose or the all-purpose cleaners. So what I have here are some Method all-purpose sprays. So this one is in Clementine, this one is in Pink Grapefruit, and this one is uh, lime and sea salt. So um, the other thing I want to mention is that most of my cleaning supplies that I don't get at Walmart, I actually order online from Grove Collaborative. And no, this video is not sponsored. Um, I've been ordering with Grove with my own money for over a year now, and I really like it because I live in an area where it's difficult for me to get specialized cleaning products like this and it's definitely difficult for me to get like the Mrs. Myers scents. Um, I do like that they have free shipping. You can skip months if you don't need a box, etc. So uh, I always do have a link in my description box, but if, if these products came from Grove, I'll try to let you know. Um, otherwise, if they're available from Amazon, I will link them um, to Amazon also. So so more of the multi-purpose or all-purpose cleaners. These are method all-purpose cleaners, and I really do like these. I think they do um, a pretty good job of cleaning surfaces. They are not antibacterial, so I don't use these to clean my bathrooms or anything like that, but just for regular countertops. I found them to be really gentle even on my butcher block. I use them with um, a wet cloth just to do like spot cleaning. So my favorite out of these is probably either the grapefruit or the lime and sea salt. The orange is okay, but if I had to choose, I'd choose one of these two. Also, in addition, I wanted to mention some products that I don't like because I think it's important to talk about those as well. Uh, you know, you do have some hits and some misses when you're buying cleaning products. So this Method Anti-Back, I, I do not like it. I'm probably actually gonna throw it away. It is very odd to me to have a bacterial antibacterial cleaner smell like spearmint. And when you're cleaning the bathroom with this, the scent of spearmint mixed with bathroom is like not good at all. So <clears throat> I would not recommend this. If you guys like it, let me know down below, but I think that is a big miss. But these um, I really like for cleaning up in the kitchen and cleaning up just regular surfaces. I also wanted to mention this crud cutter. This is a kitchen degreaser. I do believe this is available on Amazon, but I've also found it, um, sometimes you can find it at Walmart or at like home supply stores like Menards or Lowe's, but I really like to use this for cleaning my stove top. I do have a gas stove, and so when I wanna give it a good scrub, I take it apart and use this along with a scrub brush to kind of get those bits of stuck on food off. So I really like this. It doesn't really have a scent, so normally what I do is clean it with this and then go over it with one of these cleaners just to make sure everything smells good. All right, so I cannot make a uh, cleaning products video without talking about Mrs. Myers, and of course, I am obsessed with buying all the scents, just as many of you are, I'm sure. 
but I like to get these from Grove. They have seasonal scents that are exclusive and come out every so often. The one I'm showing you here actually is the orange clove scent, which this was a winter scent that they had this past season. And so I did get that. I really do like it. I typically try to buy the three piece. So it comes with the hand soap, the uh, multi-surface spray and the dish detergent. And then this little ceramic tray is from Grove also. I have multiples of these and I keep them actually throughout the house for different things. But I do keep one of these next to my sink, especially for these particular cleaning products, and I really love it. I like that it just keeps everything contained. So, you know, you have water when you set your um, dish soap back down and you can just take this out and wash it just like you would a regular dish. So really love the Mrs. Myers. I know too that you can get these at Target and I think even my Walmart might be selling them now, but for sure Grove has the exclusive seasonal scents. And then another set that I really like and wanted to mention, I'm actually almost out of the dish soap, is this Caldrea. Now I've only ever seen this particular brand on Grove and this is kind of the first place that introduced me to it but this tangelo palm frond is seriously the best smelling cleaner that i have ever used in my life so i have the dish detergent i have the um, linen and room spray and then i also have the countertop spray so all of these um, work really good too i don't know that the countertop spray is that effective at scrubbing up like grease and stuff but it does smell really good so if you're just doing a light surface clean um, that works really well they have other scents of this caldrea as well but for sure this one is my absolute favorite okay so wood cleaners um, i do like this method wood for good daily clean i have used this on my island before i also like to use it on my dining room table because it has a wood top on it this has a really nice scent it's scented like almond and so um, it is a little bit wetter than a traditional like pledge dusting spray would be so just keep that in mind but i like to use this with a hot microfiber cloth to clean up my dining room table and then usually in the living room for our wood furniture in there, I just like using good old pledge. Um, I have the orange and the lemon. I actually prefer the orange scent better than the lemon scent. And I usually find these at Walmart or if they're available on Amazon, I'll link them down there as well. I'm sure they are. Um, for cleaning out my tubs, I like to use this Mr. Clean Gain scent. And this is kind of like a multi-purpose cleaner that you dilute with hot water. And I've used this for years. I love that it smells like gain. And what I like to do is when I'm going to clean um, the bathtub, I fill it up with hot water. And then I pour, you know, a little bit of this in there and let it sit to loosen up the dirt, you know, and grime in the tub. And then I just put my rubber gloves on and go in and scrub it out. And I like to use that same water to scrub down on the shower walls too. Um, so I really like this. I have used it in my mop water before. I just think it smells really, really good. Not really a cleaning product, but it's something from Grove I wanted to mention because I really like it is this hand, sanitiz hand sanitizer gel and it's in the blood orange. I really like this and I have several bottles of it. I have a bottle down here in the kitchen and then I also have a bottle at work that I keep right on my desk so I can sanitize my hands. I like the smell of this and it doesn't seem to dry out your hands as much as a traditional like Purell hand sanitizer would. So um, I like keeping that on hand, especially in the winter when my, my hands tend to get super dry and cracked. All right, so glass cleaners, you name it, I've tried it all. So I can tell you my opinion on each one of these. Windex, I still think is the best glass cleaner that money can buy. And honestly, I've also tried the off-brand Windex in the Great Value or the Walmart brand, and it works equally as well. But for me, Windex is like the classic quintessential glass cleaner. There's no streaks. I love cleaning my mirrors and windows with it. To me, it's just the best. Now. I have tried this spray away glass cleaner, which I believe I got this at Walmart, but I know you can get it on Amazon too. This I feel like is a close second to the Windex. For some reason, I feel like this isn't quite as streak free as the Windex is, but maybe it's just me being biased, I don't know. I still think it's okay and I'll definitely use the rest of this can. Now these two, I will say I am not big fans of. So this is the Mrs. Myers Lemon Ver Verbena. 
is that how you say that glass cleaner and this is the method glass and surface spray okay this is junk this method glass and surface spray in fact I just tried this again this weekend and cleaned the mirror in my bathroom here downstairs and I wiped it multiple times and every time it left streaks I'm not a big fan of this the only thing I will keep this for and use it on is my stove um, because I feel like my stove is black and it doesn't show streaks and so I'll probably use it for that But if you want to clean glass definitely do not buy this the mrs. Myers spray is okay It's a little bit better than the method um, But it's definitely not as good as Windex So usually I keep this upstairs and just use it in the kids bathrooms to do a quick wipe down But again wouldn't recommend either of these two if you're looking for a glass cleaner one thing I would recommend if you have a glass shower door like we do is this Rain-X automotive glass cleaner So you actually get this in the automotive section at your store and this stuff works awesome on shower doors because it's also a water repellent so it not only cleans the the glass door, but it also helps um, repel water and so that way your door won't get water stains on it as quickly as it normally would if you used regular cleaner. So I actually keep this in our bathroom upstairs under the sink and that's the only thing I use it for is to clean our shower door, but it's a great trick. I learned somewhere here on YouTube and I can't remember from who, uh, but definitely recommend that if you have, have a glass shower door to clean. So another product that I use on my quartz, which I can show you, I have um, quartz countertops. They're not granite, they're quartz. And one product that I use on those actually came from the company that installed our, our countertops. And I'll see if I can find this online and link it down below. But this is something that I really only use maybe about once a month or once every six weeks when I do a super deep clean of the kitchen. But this is a cleaner, polisher, and protector for stone surfaces. And this stuff works awesome at shining up your quartz and granite. If you, what I normally do is like, clean it with you know wipe it down with this kind of a, a cleaner and then once it dries then you can spray this and buff it on it makes your countertops countertops super shiny and look brand new so i definitely like that stuff and then this is the butcher block conditioner that we use for our um, butcher block we do have a butcher block island and so every couple months you do have to condition that and this is the kind that we use i i know this is available on amazon because i've ordered it before so i'll link it but it's made of um, food grade mineral oil and natural waxes. So what we do is we clean the, the butcher block really well and then we use like an old rag to rub this into um, the surface along with the grain and it really does a good job of, of conditioning our butcher block. Another thing I wanted to mention, and I am not really all that into essential oils, but I have used them, you know, intermittently throughout the years. Um, I do have these ones from Young Living. This is a lemon and this is a citrus fresh. I do like to use these in my kitchen. I have an oil diffuser right by my sink. And so if we cook something like bacon or fry something, um, I do like to put a scent like this into the diffuser. It just helps freshen the air, I think. And the other thing I wanted to say is that if you have a sticker on something that you want to get off, like if you're taking, you know, a glass jar um, and you want to get the label off of it and the last bit won't come off, use an essential oil, just like drip a little of it on there, like a citrus one. You can use lemon or orange um, and just like scrape it off with your nail and it will come right up. That's like an awesome um tip that I've learned over the years. So those are what I use those for. You can also drop these down into your garbage disposal if you want to freshen up your garbage disposal a little bit. All right, so next I'm going to talk about more of some scrubbing cleaners. Um, I have this bubble up dish. This actually comes from Grove and I really like it. I keep it right by my, my sink in the kitchen. And what this is meant to do is you're meant to take this little spring out and put water and soap down in the bottom of there and then push this down um, to get the bubbles and then you can scrub your dishes or whatever with it. But I actually use this to scrub out my sink. So what I do is I either use this Mrs. Meyers vinegar gel cleanser or if I want a little bit more abrasiveness, I like this um, surface scrub. And so when the sink is wet, I just sprinkle this on and then use this to scrub out the sink. It works really, really well. Um, I also have used regular Comet on occasion. I don't really have a preference. Um, I'm not really one of those people that's like super into natural cleaners. Um, 
you know, I do work in a hospital and in healthcare, and so I fully realize the importance of using antibacterials. I'm not super obsessed with, you know, keeping bleach out of my house or anything like that. Like, if I'm going to clean, I want it clean. So uh, the other thing that I use to scrub our tile shower out with is this Comet Soft Cleanser. This does have bleach in it, and so what I will normally do is squirt this on on the tile on the floor and then i use this brush from full circle to scrub out the grout lines and i love this brush it is actually from grove so you can get it or find it on their website but it's super awesome to, it, for scrubbing grout and i think the comet always works um, really well and then sometimes i've used this in the shower too it just depends on on what what, what kind of a mood i'm in but those are sort of the products i use for um, scrubbing out sinks and showers. Um, okay, for dishes. So my favorite dishwasher detergent is the Finish Max. I get these at Costco. I love buying them there because I get a ton in one container and I don't have to worry about buying it for a long time. And I use my dishwasher a lot. I use it at least once per day, sometimes more on the weekends. So it's definitely something that I need to make sure I have on hand. I do have a Bosch dishwasher and they are not the best at drying dishes and so I do find that I need to use the jet dry. Um, so I also get this at Costco and I just squeeze this into the um, container in the dishwasher um, or the receptacle, whatever you call it. And then this just helps my dishes dry um, a lot better too. And I also wanted to give you a tip. If you do have a dishwasher where your dishes don't dry, as soon as the cycle is done, you want to open the door. So like ours has a beeping mechanism um, when the cycle is finished. And what I do is I take like a tea towel or a hot pad and I just put it in there like that so the steam can escape and that really really helps dry your dishes someone here on youtube actually told me that and so if you were the one that told me that thank you because i use that tip every day and i appreciate it so for garbage disposal i do like to use these little lemon uh, plink things i get these at walmart uh, they just smell like lemon you drop them down in there with some hot water and it makes your disposal smell good. And then for, for a more heavy duty clean, I like using these Glisten foaming cleaners. There's actually little packets in here and you stick them down in your disposal, turn on hot water and the foam will come up to let you know that it's cleaning. And I do like these a lot, uh, especially for cleaning out the disposal. I usually, usually use these once every couple weeks. All right, so let's talk laundry for a second. So my new favorite detergent is this Method Beach Sage Laundry Detergent. They also have coordinating scent beads and I get these from Grove as well. Um, I do love this detergent. It makes your clothes smell really good. If you're looking for more of a traditional scent bead that you can find at Walmart, this Downy Amber Blossom is my absolute favorite. I love these. They are a little bit pricey, um, but I do like using them because I think they just make my clothes smell really, really good. Um, for stain removal, I just like to use the regular Shout. Um, that's what I've used for years and it seems to work pretty well. If I have a tougher stain, I do like these Carbona Stain Devils. Like for example, this one is for fat and cooking oil. And I get these at Walmart. There's a bunch of different kinds. There's one for like red wine, one for makeup, you know, just different things. But I do find this is really good for getting um, cooking oil out of clothes. And once in a while, I'll for forget to wear my apron in the kitchen and I'll get grease on my shirt or something. And this has been really, or works really well in getting that out. Um, the last thing for laundry are these Mrs. Myers scent sachets and I really like these. I've been liking to put them in our closets. So I've put one in my closet and Kira's closet and I also have one in the laundry room but you basically just open this envelope, open the scent thing and stick it in there. Um, I have one in my closet right now that I've had in there for about five weeks and I can still smell it. So I would totally recommend these. I love them. Uh, okay, so wipes. Um, I do not use a ton of wipes. Um, sometimes I keep them in the bathrooms upstairs just for a quick clean, but mostly I'm just using, um, you know, spray and paper towels. Um, I do, I did get these seventh generation wipes from Grove. I do not really care for these. Um, 
it, it, again, it smells like a mint scent. I just feel like it's weird to clean your bathroom with a mint scent. I'm not sure why. I do like these Lysol disinfecting wipes. This one is the brand new day. I get these at Walmart, so I do like those for cleaning bathrooms. And then the last thing I wanted to mention is these leather wipes. I use these to clean our leather couch in our living room, and they work really, really well. I'm actually probably almost out. I need to get more. Um, and also, if you have leather seats in your car, these work really well to clean your car seats too. So this might be a little random, but I do want to talk about paper towels for a second. Now, this is a roll of paper towels that I got from Aldi. I think it's the Boulder brand, maybe. And then this is a roll of bounty paper towels. So I typically like to get my paper towels from Costco um, just because I can buy them in like a huge package and I always have some on hand. But I have to tell you, I am a believer in the Aldi paper towels and probably when this you know, package runs out, I probably will totally switch over to the Aldi ones. I have not priced it. I need to do that. I am quite sure that these are much cheaper. They come in a six pack, but these are seriously good paper towels. Like you can't even tell the difference between this and Bounty. So if you're looking for a cheaper paper towel, definitely check out the ones at Aldi. They're awesome. As far as cleaning cloths go, I did want to mention my e-cloth. I actually have two of these. Um, it comes in a set with the cloth and the buffer, and I will link this on Amazon. Um, I've gotten them on there as well as on Grove. But essentially, I like to use this to clean my stainless steel, and it's pretty much the only thing I use it for. It does have like a little scrubber on the on one corner here, but all you have to do is wet this and then clean your stainless steel with it, and then buff it with this cloth, and it is the best thing I have found to clean my stainless steel. Now, if I need to do a deeper clean, I do also spray this on, this Wyman stainless steel cleaner and polish, and use it along with the e-cloth, but seriously, this is the best thing to use for stainless steel. When we moved into this house, I had never in my life had stainless steel appliances, and so I really struggled um, to find a way to keep them clean, and this has worked really well for me. As far as dishcloths and stuff, um, I do like the microfiber cloths from Grove. You can also get microfiber cloths at the Dollar Tree or Walmart, wherever. I do like to keep these on hand for wiping up countertops. And then as far as kitchen towels go, I really do love these uh, towels from Grove Collaborative. I think almost every time I order from them, I stick one of these in my cart. They're like five bucks. But these kitchen towels are the best that I have found. They're super large, they're absorbent. Um, they're pretty, they come in different colors um, with these stripes and we just love them. So we definitely recommend those. I also wanted to mention these under the sink organizers that I ordered off Amazon several months ago. And I did get these on Amazon, so I'll link them down below. I did a video that's pretty old of me organizing under my sink, so I'll link that down below also. Uh, don't make fun of me because it is an older video, but I like having these under my sink because they slide out. You can put the, you know, your cleaning supplies in there and they slide out super easily to use. So like in the bottom here, I just have my rubber gloves and some extra sponges. I do really, really like these walnut scrubber sponges that you can get from Grove. So I would recommend those. I think that they just look so much nicer than those green and yellow ones that you buy at the store. Um, so definitely I have two, two of these under my, um, kitchen sink and I love them. I would I would consider ordering more for other areas of the house as well. Okay, so uh, this is a duster and this is by OXO and what this is used for is to clean the top of your ceiling fan blades and then this is removable and you can put it in the washer. So I believe I got this on Amazon too. I'll link it down below but I really love this for dusting our ceiling fans. We, we do have a high ceiling down here in the main floor so it works well for that. Next thing I want to mention is the good old Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. These work great for like my white cabinets. Um, if, if there's a stain on there, I can definitely use the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. They're also great for paint on walls. Like if my kids get smudges on the walls, they take that up really easy. So I buy the big packages of these usually at Menards, but I love using those. And then for toilets, I do like to drop these Clorox bleach tabs into the tank of my toilets. So I get these in a huge box at Costco, and basically it just makes the water in the tank have bleach in it so that every time you flush the toilet, um, there's bleach in there and it helps prevent stains. What I use to clean my toilets with are these Clorox toilet wands. I love them. Um, I have one of these in every single bathroom in my house. So basically there is a little caddy that holds your um, cleaners and this 
you know, comes out, snaps on here, and then you use this to clean the toilet, and then you can just throw it away. I just think this is so much more sanitary than using a nasty toilet brush. I don't know. It's just, they're my favorite. And so, yes, when we moved into this house and increased our bathrooms, I had to go out and buy more of these because I love them so much. Okay, so really the last category is sort of floor care. So I did want to mention our Roomba that we recently got a couple of weeks ago. We've had it for... Oh, I think we've actually had it for almost a month now. And I have to tell you, this thing is a game changer as far as cleaning floors goes, especially if you have a lot of surface area and if you have dogs. We set it to run at 9 a.m. every morning. Adam has an app on his phone that he uses to kind of keep up with it. Um, I'll link the exact model that we have in the description box, but I seriously could not be happier with this thing. I think it is so awesome for keeping your floors clean you guys can see that it ran this morning and there are vacuum lines in my carpet it goes under my couch without any problem it's just awesome i'll insert some footage of it um running but i'm 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 like sold on this thing and it is seriously the best money i have ever spent on a cleaning product 100 percent okay for upstairs we use a dyson vacuum um, I did order this online from Amazon. I'll link the one I have down below. We did have to exchange it because we ordered one that had too high of suction and we have newer carpet in our house and it was, it had such high suction that I couldn't even push it on the carpet. It was that high. <laughs> it was that much suction. So this one has worked perfectly. I think it's an animal big ball, but I'm not sure. Again, I'll find it and link it down below, but we're super happy with this vacuum. We use it for the upstairs and we have um, a dog, we have a lab who sheds. And so I definitely recommend buying a Dyson. I This is my second Dyson that I've had. The first one lasted us about eight years and we've been super happy with it. So as far as mopping goes, my absolute favorite mop is this O-Cedar Spin Bucket Mop. Um, I did order this on Amazon and I'll post a link for it down below, but basically it has a really large mop bucket in the bottom. And so you put your hot water and your solution in there. And then this is a spinner. So it has a um, kind of a you know pump over here that you use to spin your mop out and then you can uh, use it on your floor. The other great thing is that this mop head is detachable. So you can just take it off and throw it in the washer. It works great. I love this thing. It makes mopping fun. I don't know. I'm a dork, but I seriously do love it. Now for like a quicker clean or if I'm too lazy to get the big mop out, I do like to use the Swiffer Wet Jet Wood. And I'll link this down below too. I did order it on Amazon. I do use the Swiffer Cleaner with it. Um, and then here are some different pads that I've gotten. So this purple one is actually the Swiffer brand pads that come with it. And then this one is a Walmart version. I tried the Walmart version because I thought, well, if I can save a few bucks, you know, that would be good. Uh-uh. I don't like these at all. Um, they definitely do not do a great job of cleaning the floor. I would say that if you're going to do this, you know, if you're going to purchase this, I would definitely invest in the Swiffer pads because I just think they work so much better. As far as mop solution, um, I do like using Pine Sol um, in my mop bucket. And then sometimes I will um, just use hot water in this method squirt and mop, which I really, really like. You can just kind of squirt this on the floor and then put some um, mop, you know, hot water in your mop bucket and mop it up. The other thing that I didn't mention too is that I do have some, this is it, yeah. I do have this Thieves essential oil. And again, I'm not a huge, you know, essential oil uh, guru. This isn't wanting to focus. I'm not a huge essential oil guru, but I do like this Thieves um, oil. It smells a little bit like cinnamon to me, but if you put a few drops of this in your hot mop water, um, it smells really good. And especially I've combined it with this before and um, it, all, it all smells good together. So that is it for cleaning products. Okay, so I hope you found this video a little bit helpful. Again, if there's something I can link, I'll link it down below. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. But this was a super fun video to make, and I hope you guys took some good information away from it uh, for cleaning supplies for your own house. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.